Hello, Honors Chem fans. This is Mrs. Himmelberg coming to you with some quantum numbers for the evening. I know I'm getting this in kind of late, so anything you can do to view this would be greatly appreciated, but if you don't get to it, well, we'll get to you tomorrow. All right, so this is what I want to show you as quick as I can. Uh, some quantum numbers, which is yet another way to describe the location of an electron inside of an atom. We know that we can do 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and so on. We can use those series of, of numbers and letters. But there's another way. There's another way to give each electron a series of four numbers that we call quantum numbers. That's what you see here. That's what would go in the blank in your notes, quantum numbers. Each of those quantum numbers takes on a certain personality. So there are four, one, two, three, four each corresponding to a different part of that electron's location. So the first quantum number has to do with the principal energy level, which we described as size. Or earlier, you might have seen me use lowercase n. So you'll see it right here. This is n. This is the energy level, principal energy level. Quantum number two has to do with the sublevel, or the shape of the sublevel that we're talking about. This is often symbolized by a lowercase l. That's right here, sublevel l. The third quantum number is an orbital number, and it's represented by m sub l. The m stands for magnetism and the magnetic quality of that particular electron in its orbital, and that refers to the orientation, the particular one, of a given sublevel. So m sub l is going to be described right here. And the final quantum number has to do with spin. That's per electron. Each one has a spin. We've been using arrows to indicate up and down, but it's symbolized by m sub s. So we're going to put that over here in our table. So what are our options? Well, for energy level, n can be any number 1 through 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Just as there are levels on the periodic table, each of those rows corresponds to an energy level. So qu quantum number 1 is a number, 1 through 7. The second number that's going to be given to any one electron is the L number, and that's for sublevel. So the sublevel depends on the shape. If it's S, we're going to give it a number of 0. If it's P, its number is going to be 1. If it's D, its number is going to be 2. And if it's F, the number will be 3. So that's the quantum number 2. Quantum number 3 has to do with the orientation or the orbital. So with the S or sublevel, there is only one orientation. It's a sphere. So that number, that third quantum number, if the second one is a 0 for S, then the third quantum number must also be 0. If it's a P sublevel, or a 1, for the second quantum number, well, then our orbital could take on three orientations. So we need three numbers. It could be negative 1, it could be 0, or it could be positive 1. If it is D, the sublevel that we're talking about, quantum number, the second quantum number would be 2. And then there are five orientations, so we need five numbers, like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And finally, if we get to F, then there are seven different orientations. So we have to back this up all the way to negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, or 3. All those possibilities for F sublevel. Now, spin refers to that opposite quality that two electrons must have in order to occupy the same sublevel. So we can have positive 1 half or we can have negative one-half for spin. Uh, we're not going to, to give it a, just a plus or a minus because electrons, of course, have a positive, or sorry, a negative charge to them. No, not positive, negative. They have a negative charge to them, so we don't want to just do positive or negative because that would be confusing. Because this, of course, is not confusing, right? So we're going to give it plus and minus one-half for the spin. Okay, so each electron is going to have a series of four numbers, just like I've written here, n, comma, l, comma, m sub l, m sub s. And we're going to get those numbers from this little chart that I've just generated. 
It's better if I show you an example. Let's do an example. So I think in your notes you have beryllium. Okay, so beryllium, when we look it up, we found out it has four electrons. So those four electrons, if we were to write the electron configuration, we would have 1s2, 2s2. Oops, put the 2s in there. 1s2, 2s2. That makes a combination of four electrons. Well, to write the quantum numbers for this element, we're going to start, um, let me draw the orbital diagram too, just so we can kind of keep track of this. 1s, 2s. It's nice and simple. One up, one down. Each of these electrons that I have just diagrammed here, there are one, two, three, and four, each one is going to get its own set of quantum numbers. So first, let's do this electron. This electron is in the first energy level, so its principal quantum number, its quantum number one, is one. It is in the S sublevel, so quantum number two is zero. It is, we have no choice. If its sublevel is zero or s, then its orbital orientation must also be zero. So the third quantum number is zero. And then we have to give it a spin. Well, we're going to start, we're going to do the positive values first. So this would give, be given a positive one half. This four set of numbers belongs to that one electron right there. And then if we were to do this electron, it has its own set of four. It's in the same orbital. So its first three quantum numbers would be the same. First principal energy level. This is the sublevel. This is the orientation. It matches the other one. But now it's pointed down. It has the opposite spin. So we give it a negative one half. Those are the two sets of quantum numbers for the 1s electrons. When I go to this second level, the 2s energy level, well now, not a lot has changed. These are still s electrons. It's just now they're in the second principal energy level. So which of the quantum numbers is really going to change? Well, only one. And that's this one right here. Because now, instead of being energy level 1, we're energy level 2. So, we're going to start this with 2, still 0. 0 again. And we're going to give that positive value first, positive 1 half. The second electron, its set of quantum numbers would be 2, 0, 0, negative 1 half. And there you have it. There's our four sets of quantum numbers for the four electrons in beryllium. Ta-da! Go ahead and uh, see what you can do with fluorine. Fluorine has nine electrons. If you could give that a shot, that's where we'll start in class tomorrow. See you in class.